Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Trax, the train set game. And what I discovered was that when I went to reload the saved file, it started the, uh, uh, the quest all over again, though it left my track where it belonged. But it started us here at the very beginning. There I am. Let me hop into the train. There we go. So we still have to go pick up those very first ones again. And that's fine. It's... It'll be fun driving over there to do that. So we'll chug a chug a chug over there and get that done. Also, I've been tweaking the settings of OBS, and I think I have something that works now. As well as, let's see, choices. Let's make sure we're going that way. As well as I've um, upgraded the, the canister that uh, this video is rendering to, to a, an MPEG transport stream file, which has... Uh, digital Dolby Stereo built into it. So we should see a whole different uh, level of quality in sound and video from this one compared to the previous episode. So let me know what you think, if it's all in my imagination or if you notice it too. <laughs> Otherwise, let's go pick these guys up and we'll go pick the other group up, then we'll get back to our business uh, pawns where we left off last time. And maybe we will try to speed build and see if it is possible to, to sneak in the, uh, uh, the, the timer that's going to come up. That'd be kind of fun. All right, heading into there, hitting, yep, went past. Sneak back into there and stop. There we go. All right, so that take care of this one. It's going to tell us to go pick up some others that have hidden somewhere. A new set somewhere and bring it back to the station. All right. Take off. There's ten of them somewhere. I'm assuming it's in the place it was last time. It should be. Oh, had a little bit of a lag there. Well, we'll see if that uh, came through on the video or not. Anyway, kick the speed up a little higher and let's get over there. And I've got to make a left turn down here, don't I? Yeah. Alright, left into there. And then we should have enough steam to get up this double spiral. Double corkscrew. And start slowing down. Roll in. Almost not enough steam to get there. Okay, forward. There, brakes. Come on in, guys. And off we go. Jump for it, jump! <laughs> and let's get back to the station. Then our timer will begin, and since I won't have to sit there and explain a bunch of things, maybe I can just dive straight into that and see what happens. We'll see. We'll see if I can hit the station right. Alright, right about there. Yep, pretty good. All right, we should get our new uh, new pop-up message now. There it is. A set of business passengers are waiting on the dining table. These must be taken to the business station within the time limit. Go. All right, pop out of there. And dining table, there we are. So we're going to come off of here. We're at this one. Okay, so let's grab, I guess, this track here. Can I? I can. Okay. Really quickly do that. We need to drop down. Okay. So send you across. Nope. Don't do that. Right there. And we want to head into this direction here. And that has to drop down. And into there. 86 seconds left. And stop. Okay. So, um, G platform. And that can go right there. It accepted it. They're happy. And let's grab that train. Have I forgotten anything? I forgot to position the camera correctly, but let's see if this is possible. One minute left to pick them up and drop them off. Of course, the surprise uh, um, quest on your first pass-through and not expecting it 
pretty much guarantees you're not going to make the timer, but I've had a little bit of practice, so maybe I will make it. But even then, it's going to take us 30 seconds just to get from that end of the room to this room, to this side. And we're in. We're going past. Full speed. Slowing down. Brakes. Back up. Brakes. Everybody? One thought about it. There they go. 18 seconds left. Still loading. And it didn't register that we have 20 of 20. I think it's because I've already done this quest before. 8, 7, 6, 5. Brakes. Brakes. Back up. And brakes. Ooh. Actually did it. All right, so we've got 15 normal people somewhere in the room. And now we are back to basically where we were yesterday. Although we did throw this track in real quick. All right, so there's 15 hiding somewhere. Now, I don't know if I mentioned last time, but your scroll wheel is what uh, takes you up and down. And what, QE? Yeah, QE does it also. It does it faster, too. But... I have to look down to find my QE. There you are. All right. How best? We have an extra straight over here. We could dive off to this side and shoot through. And if we miss it, we can put a, a backup track right here. All right. I like that. So... Uh, Break it. C for clear. I, I say break, but probably a C was meant for clear. Anyway, if we miss this right turn, then we have one more chance to make another right turn over here. Yeah, I'm into backup plans. <laughs> now, to get up there, that is got to be less than a corkscrew. I would think so. What if we started going up right now? That did it. Now, can I go any sooner? Ah, it's going to clip through. Okay, we're stuck with that. Which doesn't give us a lot of room for that platform. Yeah, we can make that work. Now, what happens here? Wouldn't it be neat just to kind of curve down through that corkscrew? So when we do their free build, I want to do things like this. Just experiment. Now curve back into there. Now unfortunately I can't make it not give me a parallel track. I can hit Alt and that really is the Alt track. So it doesn't give me back just the curve like we have over here. So don't know why that is. Why that was decided to be the way that the game worked. Because now I feel obligated to do something here. If I miss this turn we're rolling underneath the, uh, underneath the couch. Um... We could use this as a way to turn around, maybe. Although I can't get back into that, into the same track. I could do it here, though. Okay, well, I mean, what if we did something like that? That doesn't help us if we miss the track, though. we got to go backwards around the whole place. Hmm. What do we do there? Take this back... We'll go a few more. There. Now we can't do that. So let me go to here. I'm trying to make something like that, but it's not going to work. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. If we miss it, that should give us enough room to, to come to an emergency stop and back up and fix it. Although, I don't think we can back up the hill. We're doomed if we get here. Let's put it that way. <laughs> what is another plan to get out of that? You don't have much power backing up as compared to forward. So you really just need to reattach to something. We could... Okay. Hey, tell you what. Let's do this. Where's... Let's see. G, corkscrew, and R. Hmm. If I got sideways and boy, no matter what I do, I'm in the wrong place. 
that would do it in a very awkward way there okay clear that and we have another oh see I can back up from here right click there why do you do that to me hmm oh it took it off down below okay clear that put that back in okay clear see it automatically when I click on this fires off this guy and makes it permanent so the only way I know how to fix that is to accept it and then back up then I can curve this one again so I think that's a bit of an error now we're gonna do this and do that alright so we miss one turn we can still get there in fact it's even more fun to miss it <laughs> alright we got a plan now we're diving into there going through and get back up into there and we are right now clear over there someplace so let's no we're not done yet toy chest platform there we go oh and off camera I did test going into this living room background with the free play mode free play is that what it's called oh the sandbox basically and it does work so I was going to unlock the the one of the spawns like natural a normal spawn and a normal station and test it but then I would have even more things unlocked here so I'll wait until we get to the uh, uh, the this actual series this is more of a let's sample you know two or three episodes when we get to the actual series we'll unlock everything and, and do it including the decorations I didn't show you last time scroll a little bit further we've got trees fences lampposts can I preview there's a lamppost nifty uh, wall and wall ending what's the wall look like ooh I like that okay that's gonna be a lot of fun so let's what do we want here see yeah that'll clear me out of there okay so I'm ready yeah let's do a real close-up toggle back into the train which is over here now there is a way off of this, right? Oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> okay, we got to get back into the uh, into the system here. Now, there's one thing I never was able to put in: a way to go this way from here. How would we do that? How about we take off from here, curve again. No, that doesn't work. Can I go straight underneath there? I might be able to. Can I fit into that? I think I can. So, but that doesn't help, does it? That doesn't help. Okay, let's break that. I need to go this other direction can I curve out like that that's what I need I can't get there now I can go through the wall over here this kind of represents the wall of the house just to make this happen so in this case break that now we can go this way around and head off in this direction so that'll work this was real we I would have to have torn all these tracks apart and shifted everything over by one to keep that inside the room. And as a kid, I would have done it. But for the sake of this series, no. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy back downhill and connect it over to that corner. This is where I'm glad there are no time limits because it's fun just to sit back and create. What's the corkscrew look like over here? Uh, gee. Boy, scared me. Everything moved. Everything was in the wrong place. Corkscrew, you're in the middle of the, of the box there. Rotate you around, and... What have we got? That looks like two levels down. So one, two. Let's see if that works. There we go. And C to clear that. 
And that's what I mean by the, it automatically assumes the first piece goes straight. So I've got to build out and then back up in order to not do that. That is a little odd. All right. Nope, you didn't take. Right there. Now we have a way to get down. We have a way to curve back and get into this area and then switch track to that one and switch track to that one. That's going to be a little complicated. All right, I was talking about getting in nice and close here to watch this happen. All right, so we want to take it slow when we get to all those switch tracks. We can have fun on the corkscrew. I'll go ahead and take the speed down now. And we'll just uh, take our time in here. We want to take a right turn over here. There we go. Coming around. Need a, a right and a left. And we're up and in. Slow it down further. Coming into the station. Brakes. And we're there. Perfect. And they're all excited. There they go. Guess only the business people can afford clothes. <laughs> now we're heading... Yeah, just over here. Alright, so toggle out of that one into here. The Kind of a, a shadowy, dark place in here. Uh, that was the wrong button. Let's try W. Alright, going down through the corkscrew. Woohoo! And actually, I didn't mean to go this way, but I guess we're going this way. Both ways would work. That's the way I designed it. Heading in, let's take the speed down. Rolling into the station. About as lazy as the quiet music in the background. There we are. Should we get a new uh, uh, message soon? Or is it just going to drift into the next one? It's just going to drift in. Okay, business in 86 seconds. Where are they? Ah, there they are. How do you get there? Speed build that one, huh? Um, yeah. Let's turn off of this. And actually back up and turn. Don't think I can do that. I'm going to have to back up one more. There we go. Okay, well that's getting interesting. When you don't have time to think. Now I just gotta get this back down to business. Okay, so we've got a hmm. Yeah, there's no way to make this timer. Just don't have the ability to do it or to make it look good. Let's see, let's back up. Curve over. No, can't do that. Yeah, we're not going to make it. So let's let's do this the way that would look good. All right. How best to get over there? A triple corkscrew. I like that. Let's do that. Let's drop off of here because I can't do any major turns off of this guy. Though maybe I can do it right here. Uh, break. There we go. You. Off. And... No, I don't like that. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go off of here. No, we're back to the same spot. It's the only one that really gets me to the floor. Now, if I backed up and went down, no. Okay, forward, down, down. Let's corkscrew off that. All 
rotate. That's interesting. Can't do it. Nor can I do that. Yeah. Or that. Okay, so we're ramping down on this one. Not going to work. You down, down, down. Um, back, turn, down, down, turn. Am I on the floor yet? I am. Now, I want a corkscrew into this. Where do we put it? So, toy box, corkscrew. Let's see. That's probably the best way. This particular track I could get inside. I just don't know if the next one I could get inside. Let's find out. Put you there, corkscrew. How do you line up with the next level? You're having troubles. Okay. So clear you and clear you. And corkscrew. So we're going to have to head out to there. Though I could do it right here. Eh, we're probably going to hit the next level. So that's about the closest we can get. Corkscrew there. Corkscrew. There. Now is there room? Actually, that's level, isn't it? Ooh, it is. Good. You need to, you need to go to business. Which means I need to tap that track over there. Probably the best way. Because we can't rotate out of here to go in that direction. We need to... Well, if we're taking the trains always the same direction, we need to tap here. Otherwise, we could go backwards through here. Which means we just need to get down into this somehow. A triple corkscrew lands down in here and goes through there. Okay. That works. So where do we want to drop this guy? Get where I can see over here. He can rotate around. I guess I better start up above. Yeah, what if we were to grab that and then back up and turn? That might work. Okay, it comes out the same direction it comes in. In, around, and like so. So we're heading off in this direction. Okay, let's give that a try. And what is that down there? Oh, we haven't connected. That's why it looks... Let's get that connected so I know what I'm not doing. Um, you, there, right there. And clear. Now, ooh, kind of liking that. Let's try something. Just had an idea. Grab the, the starter piece and rotate that around. And I believe the grid also works in here. The one, two, you know, one and two to make the grids smaller and bigger. So you could move this just a tiny little bit if you wanted to start the tracks off in a new position but they're not going to line up with everything else now. So I'm going to pull back to my biggest grid there. But what I'm thinking of here is sending this guy through here? Yeah. If we... Now what happened? I, I placed it... Ah, I scrolled my, my wheel to, uh, uh, to drop my elevation. What if he went through there somewhere? So I want to get off of this, and the idea is to, if I can find that little end there, come through here and land somewhere like that. So we can actually use a cross track. Can I get down from here in a way that would let me do something like that? That I don't know. Actually, let's start with the corkscrew and work upward. Is it even possible this way? And it very well may not be. It's just not enough room in there. Though I could do that. Okay, wait a minute. We may have something here. Corkscrew. There. There. 
there. Okay. Okay. This is getting fun. Now, I don't know if I can get through this, though. I can if I disassemble these. All right, let's do something here. You back up. What was that symbol? And back up. Can't let me. Okay. Then let's break and let's just grab that and hit the C. All right. Those go away. I need all this to move out by one. So actually, I'm just passing my mouse over it and I'm hitting the C. And it's taking it away. Let's have this one instead go down one more, then turn. Can I get under that? I think I can. In case I can't, let's come out just straight. Then we'll turn and turn and drop. Nope, I can drop ahead of time. Right there. Okay. That does work. Connect that back together again. Now you see why I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to use the timers on the business class. I like building. I like creating and figuring it all out and not be rushed to do it. You can't make that. Why not? Okay, let's try that. Let's try it this way. Okay, that's not what I was doing, but I'll take it. Okay, so there and then... Hmm break you, you go away, and go there. All right. I wish I could do that. No. Okay. Cancel. Now, what do we got? We're coming off of this lower one, going down, crossing the track, all the way up, and got to finish up here. Okay. So, probably easiest from this one. You there. Nope. Back up. All right, let's try it again. There, turn, and in. And break. Now we need a platform. And rotate a couple times. Hmm. Are we allowed to do it in that amount of space? Let's say that this is a good time to use the, you know, change the, the grid size. So we can move that over. That looks pretty symmetrical to the pieces that are there. It accepted it. They're going in. Now we have to hit two stations. I think this is the first time they've mixed business class and normal class. So they're all going to get into the, the same carriages. But do we have a pathway? We're going to take this route over here. Go up there. Come back down. We have a funky little track here. Can I make him go away? Good. All right. So then we come across. No, we're not done yet. We got to get into this track somehow. And there is one blank track right there that I can tap into. So let's tap that one. There. Come out this way. Right there. Now are we good? If we mess up this one, both ways takes us to our goal. I think we're good. Okay. This is pretty much the reason why I wanted this game. This looks like a ball. All right. Leave the camera there. And jump into this guy. How long have I been recording? About a half hour. This will probably be the last challenge for this episode. I think that would be a good place to, to break. Now, anything happen when I scroll my wheel in here? It doesn't, because I just tried to zoom and it didn't happen. If I was in Farming Simulator right now, I'd be uh, scrolling the chainsaw out, trying to change my, my camera. Anyway, we are... I already went the wrong way. I already did. Let's emergency break and back up. I'm talking and not looking at what I'm doing. But back up does work, but this is full speed backing up. I am maxed out. But I needed that switch track over there. All right. I'm not hearing any sounds, but I've got my uh, 
my own speakers down a little bit. Let's switch over for a uh, full speed ahead. There we go. Well, not full speed, 5 8 speed. All right, heading over here through the cross track. It's getting quite complicated. We'll see if this thing accidentally derails. I've had that happen before. What's nice, though, is when it derails with passengers, they, they've got their seatbelts on. They, they hang around for the uh, yeah, for the, the conclusion of their ride. Look at all the knots in the green. I really like the detail here. I will probably mention that every episode. Space bar. Okay, let's go a little further. And space bar. And back a little. And space bar. All right, everybody triggered? No, yeah, there, there they go. Okay. Now, I did notice that the engine continues its rotation while this is happening. So, that's just a little a little thing with the game that's got to be worked on. Um, we'll move the camera over here since I forgot to toggle out that last time. We'll see who gets off of this one. Something like that. Alright, what is the plan here? It's a... It's a mess down there. All right, hearing the clickety clacks. Not hearing any music though. Whoa, we've picked up some speed. We are maxed out big time. Whoa, into there. Need to take this one, and we need to make sure we're going off to straight. And head back up and speed. All right, slowing down. And space bar. Nope, forward a little more. And space bar. All right, so we should see the 10 of 10 drop. Oh, okay, it went to 10 of 10. And I'm not in the train. I'm just wondering, I've done all of these early quests two or three times getting used to the game. I don't think I have done this quest more than just once. Be curious to see if money shows up when we drop these normals off. Um, there's our view. Something like that. And let's find out. Let's complete this quest and see if it uh, if it counts it as uh, a job well done. Now we're going a different direction than we've gone before. I don't think I can get over to that one this way. No, I can't. So we're gonna have to go we have to go around the horn. We have to go all the long way around. Alright. Let's see if I can figure out how to get there. Alright, we're going that way. And oh oh <laughs> okay. We're going let's go this way. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Alright. But I think I can make a turn up here though. Yes, I can. That gets me there. So, right turn. We're off here. And what choices do we have over here? Because we've added some. Straight would be great. And it is. That's in. Slowing down. Emergency brake. Back up. Some of them are... No, none of them. Okay, there we go. Whew. And we're there. Now, 10 of 10 got out. And that's next episode. An adventurous set of passengers has arrived. Find them and make the train jump five times before taking them to the station. <laughs> and with that, I'll catch you guys next time, folks. Bye-bye.